This video is sponsored by Omaze. Head to omaze.com slash WWOG. More on today's sponsor in just a bit. We get as many cut as we can really quickly. Storm's coming in. Yeah. We're going to chalk the line, get these hangers up, and see if we can get some stairs so we can get to the next level. We're elevating this build to the next level so we can get everything up. What we're actually doing is we're taking this build one step at a time. <laughs> get the words I don't have, you know? <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Good? All right, so it's gonna go something like that. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and put them like that and have these corners right at the line, just like that. Okay. And we'll just screw them in and we'll go to the next one. We're gonna do them on this side at every mark. Yeah, I think we have like 16 of them to put up. And so. you're lining the bottom corners of that angled part up. The bottom yes. corner with, with right in the center of that line. And have it just like, just like that and we'll screw all these screw holes. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them gotta go, go into here. So all the way down. All the way down. And we got two two screw guns, so we'll rock and roll. Alright. So you want the line going right through the angle. Yeah, yeah. We're getting ready to start our stringers. I think we have like 16 to do. We bought this guy right here from Lowe's um, just to verify the height is going to be correct from this portion of the deck to the lower end of the deck. I don't want to. I don't want to build it and have it be out four inches and have half a step somewhere. So, and this guy right here, you can see, does have a shorter step at the bottom. But it's actually made to go to a patio. So we just use this as a kind of a mock-up. We actually need to add three quarters of an inch onto this guy to make it all fit and work. So our plan is we have two by 12 by 10s and we're gonna get two stair stringers per piece of lumber. Um, by us going that route and buying it raw lumber like that versus buying it like this, it's gonna be cheaper. And so we're just gonna go ahead and pretty much trace this guy, add a three quarters of an inch to the bottom, cut him out and verify that he works all the way through, which we anticipate that he's gonna work. And then we'll go through and cut the rest. Okay, where's that stringer at? <laughs> Standing up and looking at the satellites Heaven's getting closer than I realize Gonna reach for the sky Gonna reach for the sky Suddenly the stars aren't so far away I can feel the light shining on my face Gonna reach for the sky Gonna reach for the sky Work, girl. What do you think? Looks good. Yeah, that's great. The moment of truth. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. What's wrong? Not, nothing wrong. You get it? it? Should be like something like that, yeah. But there's a gap right here. Why is it like that? It's not up high enough. There you go. There you go. Like that. Is that right? Have a look. It's flat right there on the ground too. It's flat right here. Right. Uh, grab my level. Okay. There you go. Thanks, dude. Yeah. How's that schoolwork going? Fun. So, you could have done nails or screws. I did screws. 
I got it on uh, Simsman Strong Tie, which is the brand name of these uh, hangers right here. And I watched them, they did screws also. Like I did the hex head screws versus the nails. Um, but it keeps it off this entire thing, you see? Yes, it should be fine. You see that? Yeah. It should be fine, but what the hell do I know, you know? <laughs> <laughs> We've never built deck stairs um, before. <laughs> but I imagine it's fine because I saw them do it, did the same thing that I did at their, their stuff. So I imagine it should be right. So you can see, it's actually a little bit, a hair. <laughs> That's like, home. let me see. I mean, it's not even a 16th of an inch out, dude, but it's high. Meaning, so if you're going down the stairs, not like you're falling down the stairs, I think you're, I mean, that's good, dude. You don't want to be low and you've like fallen down the stairs. If you're the 16th up, it's not even that though, it's probably a 30 second. I mean, it's, it's almost dead nuts. Not quite, <laughs> but whatever, it's good enough. All right, cool. I say, uh, he has two screws in it. Let's forget about it for him for now. He's good to go. Let's take that mock up and start rocking and rolling, do one at a time, put it in place, and see what we got. We need to get as many cut as we can really quickly because. Yeah, the storm's coming again. Yeah. We've partnered up with Omaze to give you the chance to win a beautiful four bedroom, four bathroom home in Austin, Texas, or $1 million cash, all while supporting Folds of Honor and their work to provide educational scholarships to the spouses and children of America's fallen and disabled service members. One winner is going to call this dream house in Austin, Texas home. 3,250 square feet of stunning elegance. A beautiful living room with a floating staircase, a chef's kitchen with stainless steel appliances, and the lavish master suite that delights with high ceilings and a spa-like bath. Step out through your sliding patio doors to your extended outdoor living space. And if you think the house is great, wait until you see the location. You'll be within walking distance of South Congress Avenue where the music is live, the barbecue sizzles, and the shopping is top notch. But best of all, you are helping to support Folds of Honor. Their educational scholarships support private education tuition, homeschooling, and tutoring for children in grades K through 12, and higher education tuition assistance for spouses and dependents of America's fallen and disabled service members. To date, they have awarded over 20,000 scholarships in all 50 states, as well as Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. So head over to omaze.com slash WWOG for your chance to win the Austin Dream Home or $1.3 million in cash. Thanks for donating and good luck. Good news is it only lasted a few minutes, right? Yeah, ain't no big deal. We're good to go. All right. Good. 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 Frankie, it's not safe up here for you yet. You gotta wait until we get the railing and the steps on. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we're gonna have steps, dude. Be nice. Yeah.
while we're working oh, before man. we go inside for it. It sucks. <laughs> I know. You know, keep getting stuck. Um, I mean, it's not pouring, uh, that's, but it's raining it's, enough that we're going to be wet. It's actually going to start coming down. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're done. Okay, so we are going to try this again. Right. <laughs> so heavy. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, <laughs> wet. over there and then this way is not looking so friendly. Look, it starts right here, and it goes all the way over there. Ah, uh, it's gonna be double, double rainbow that's coming, I think. It might start. I heard that it's always a double rainbow, and the, the colors go in the opposite direction on the no other rainbow. Huh. We got work to do, kid. We can't stare at rainbows all day. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. It's not all rainbows and butterflies here, okay? It's called work. <laughs> all right? <laughs> but there's also a lot of rainbows and butterflies. There is. And little Debbies. And little Debbies. Unfortunately, we don't have any. Okay, good. <laughs> I think for you wearing your safety glasses all day. Today, Dude, Josh, I've been doing. I've been very well. I think that you earn yourself a box of mm. any type of little Debbies that you want. Hmm. One more. It's been a How task. Good. It's just, I didn't realize, I thought it was 16. But I just thought in my head 16, so we laid out there's actually 20 of them. But cutting 20 stair stringers uh, took all day. Yeah. Well, you gotta admit, I mean, we did have three or four rain delays. Yeah. Took dogs to the vet. And we're not deck builders. We're definitely not deck builders. <laughs> but, successful day. Yes. We got out here, what, 6.30? Yeah. It's what, 8 o'clock almost? Oh yeah, it's late. But you were a champion. I'm proud of you. I mean, I didn't do a quarter of the work that you did and I am like itchy and feel terrible from sweating <laughs> and being covered in sawdust. I'm so covered, you dude. Yeah. deserve a I'm a hot mess. Yeah. You are. I mean, look at you. Yeah, I'm a hot mess, You're dude. You're covered. And, getting... and the sweating all day every time the sun would come out. Yeah. You're a champion, Josh. I'm going to undress outside, obviously. You're going to have to. Yeah. <laughs> You're not coming into my clean house like that. <laughs> All right, one left. One left. Let's go.
We're gonna roll. Today. Are we? Yes. Okay. Um, those were all cut to 14 inches. Blocking. We get that first one squared up, put it in. We're gonna nail it, not screw it. We'll nail it down, it goes right to the joist. We'll mm -hmm. nail it to the joist, slam that string over, nail it to the side. Next stringer goes over, nail it to the side, blocking, nail, nail. Bang, just, just keep working our way down, flowing. Got it. Easy. It can be frustrating sometimes to feel like we aren't making the progress that we want to be. Every single part of this house build has taken longer than expected, and the deck project is no different. It feels like since we've been doing this for so long now, just over three years, that we should be faster and better, but we're not. Each project still has something new we haven't encountered before. This time it was cutting the stair stringers. But we have learned over these years that sticking in there when the days are long and the progress feels slow is worth it. Because at the end of the day, we can rest our heads knowing that we stuck to our goal of building every inch of this house ourselves. We fought through the tough tasks that we weren't sure we could do, and we soared through the easy ones. And we found laughter and joy in our time together as we built this house one step at a time. Spring over, like this, gun down. Gun down. No, I'm right here. No, that's the last half the battle. I'm getting in the hole. You know this. <laughs> All right. March, set, go. Yes! <laughs> you cheated! You cheated! You're a pushing it! You're a cheater! You're a cheater! You pushed me out of the way! Yeah, I have to use that You know what you are? George Costanza! <laughs> You got a little barbecue sauce there. Oh, uh, you know, shirt, I, I just can't help myself, you know? We'll get back to it in a minute, guys. You know, last time I did this, I took one, a little bit of juice to the eye, so. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. Safety first. And I learned my lesson with that nail gun. I was like, you know what? This happened before I get shot in the eye with a little bit of juice. <laughs> Not today. Thank you, Omaze, for supporting our channel. Visit omaze.com slash WWOG, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya.